What's happening YouTubers? I'm bringing you a video today showing you how you can reset the password on your iPod Touch if you've been unfortunate enough to misplace it or lose it or whatever reason you need to reset the password. Now, uh, one thing I will say straight off the bat is when we do this reset procedure, it will wipe all the contents off your iPod. So if you have photos, music, you know, whatever else, please consider that. Um, there's no going back once it's reset it's reset so you know you have been warned uh, so what we need to do to, 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 to make this happen is obviously have an iPod have the USB cable connected to the computer like so uh, have a laptop or computer whatever you're using I'm on Windows 7 um, use iTunes and be signed into iTunes and have a connection to the internet so uh, with all that in place uh, the first thing to do is actually turn off the iPod so let's just do that Hold the power button down, slide to power off. There we go. Next thing is to basically let me let me just do it as I say it. Plug the cable in. This will be easier for you because I'm trying to do this with a phone in my other hand. But we want to hold down the home button before you press in the USB cable or the Apple cable. So I'm going to just position this. Come on. All right. Hold down the home button. Cable's in. Right, we get the initial Apple logo. Then you can see the USB cable pointing towards the iTunes logo. Okay, this basically means it's going into recovery mode. Now, if we go across to iTunes, you can see on the screen it says here, iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So here you say OK. All right. Now, uh, give some details of the iPod, etc. And what we're looking for is the restore button. So you click restore. All right. Now you can see it says contacting for iPod software update server. OK. Are you sure you want to restore the iPod iPod to its factory settings? All your media and other data, uh, data will be erased and the newest version of the iPod software will be installed. So read the rest of that and if you're happy just click restore and update. Okay, now you can see at the top it says extracting software. That's going to go along and do its thing. So you know what, I'm going to pause and come back. Okay guys, the extracting software just finished. Now I just want to show you the next stage which is verifying iPod restore with Apple. So I'm gonna pause that. I'll be back when the next piece of fact. Oh, in fact, I'm gonna stay. Preparing iPod for restore. The iPod itself just flashed. The logo just disappeared and now I have an Apple sign on the iPod. So let's just see what happens next. You heard that beep. It's reconnecting. We look on the iPod. And you can see it's going to load. Waiting for the iPod. I'm going to pause here. Okay guys, it's still going. You have to be patient at this bit. You can see the bar has moved along. And on the screen it's uh, restoring iPod software. That bar's moving along nicely. So, you know, I'm going to save time. Pause again. Okay, it's just verifying iPod software at the moment. As you can see on the Apple itself, on the iPod itself, it's moving along at a good pace now. Verifying iPod restore. Let's come back in a minute. Next message, restoring iPod firmware. Restoring iPod firmware. Okay. Your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Let's have a look. There she be with the Apple sign, the Apple logo, the famous logo. Let's just give it a minute okay we've got the progress bar just pop up underneath the apple almost underlining it
boom okay now let's see what we have here we have the iPod and it's back to its initial setup asking for language and the usual sort of thing so yeah there you go fully usable again um, hope that helps if you have any questions please drop me a line uh, please do subscribe and God bless take care goodbye